السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وی آر بیک ان یور کمپنی آفٹر شارٹ میسیجز اینڈ ان شاء اللہ ان ٹوڈیز پروگرام یو کین اسپیک ان انگلش بنگالی اردو عربک گجراتی ہندی آل دی سراؤنڈنگ لینگویجز بیسکلی ان شاء اللہ مفتی صاحب از ہیئر ہو کین اسپیک عربک اسپیک بنگالی فارسی اردو گجراتی ہندی Egyptian. Egyptian. Sileti. Sileti. Dhakan. Dhakan, yes. Chittagam. Pere Bangali. Mashallah. They said Shuddha Bangla. We do the Shuddha Bangla also. We have the slang one. Right. So it's a two different dialect. Words change. So classical Bengali and non-classical Bengali both. Yeah, you can say that. State language and area language. Mashallah. And you were mentioning about disease. Uh, um, yes, uh, uh, you see, if, if you look into every ayat, mm -hmm. like we say solution, every Quran is solution to every uh, possible uh, disaster, mm -hmm. every possible uh, uh, life, life is a journey mm -hmm. and you face problems. Quran comes here and gives you the solution. Mm. Quran came to solve the problems of mankind yes. in their whole affair of their life, mm. from birth till death. Mm. And this has to be looked at. And Allah, this is why Allah says, Afalam yatataparun al Quran. Mm. You see, today the mass public, you see, the education is so narrowed things because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Muslim Khulafai Rashidin, Tabi'in, Tabi Tabi'in till the Mughal ended their empire till the British came. It was one system education. Like you said, there is no two system in education. Quran, Quran, Quran all the way. And even in India, history says, even the Hindus and non-Muslims, they had to go through the madrasa system to become ministers because the language of uh, administration and the language of the of the country was Persian language and ulama they had to teach uh, the the curriculum of the st managing of the state did you know that Bangladeshi people would be very happy for 500 years ulama were in charge of the state administration education and judiciary and cadre system. All right. Ulama were the advisory body to the Sultan. Like here, they have taken it from there. Mm -hmm. House of Bishop, House of Lord, and then House of Common, mm -hmm. and the uh, Bishop of Canterbury. Mm -hmm. And he does all everything for the royal family. He blesses them. So this blessing was done by the Ulama to the Sultan. No Sultan dared to go against any ulama. And this book was written in Arabic and in English by Dr. Muhor Ali Barrister from Saudi Arabia, and it was published by the Saudi government. 500 years, ulama were in charge before the British came. Mm -hmm. And because of their ruling through the Quran and Sunnah, Bangladesh was one of the richest country in the world, according to the British. And these references are they are in the uh, Oxford University Library and the Cambridge University Library, British Museum Library and East India uh, Library. These are references, hundreds of references. So the, ulama, the Quran, the miracle of the Quran, if you can say it in that context, mm -hmm. the miracle was that it was a plain of وَالَّذِي أَرْسَلَ رَسُولَهُ بِالْهُدَى وَدِينِ الْحَقِّ لِيُظْهِرَهُ عَلَى الدِّينِ كُلِّهِ So that Allah sent the Prophet with what? With the Quran. Mm. So that it can prevail, overcome. Over all ideologies and deens and everything, every religion. Mm. And this is a promise fulfilled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his text and in its dialogue, in its being the, the, this, the most authentic thing in the planet. Mm unchallenged by anyone. No one could challenge it. No one could even dare to challenge the authenticity of the Qur'an. Mm. 
And then the reality of the Quran was established in India, in Bangladesh, in Indonesia, in, ba in, in uh, Bukhara, Samarkand, Russia. So they were running the state, even the Italians when they went to Bangladesh, they said Bengal had 100 gates to enter, not a single to come out. And the, the Sultan of Bengal, their laqab was Nasirul Islami wal Muslimin, Nasiru Khalifatil Muslimin. Warisu Mulke Sulaiman, you know Halal Sulaiman Alayhi Salam. Mm. He had such a kingdom, not before him or after him anyone will achieve. But Bengal was such a rich country under the leadership of the Quran, under the leadership of the Sunnah, under the administration of Arabic and Persian was the Bangladeshi administration language. And ulama was in charge of all these faculties. Mm -hmm. And the British says when we came to Bengal, we found it united. United under what? Now we have about 140 uh, divided uh, you know, parties. But there was only one leadership, the ulama e hmm. They were the advisory when body to the Sultan. Roughly? How long ago? Uh, say about uh, British came into Bangladesh uh, in, the, in that part about uh, 250 years ago. Before that, there was five centuries, say about 800 years ago. Mm -hmm. So there, one sultan dared to do that, Allah, where he went against him, and then he was overthrown. So, and did you know, before Ibn Hajar was born, and even uh, Badruddin Aini, the greatest uh, explanation of Bukhari, in Dhaka, in Shunargao, the Bukhari used to be taught. Mm -hmm. And it was the center of education there, Shunargao. Yes. And uh, a center because people used to go from Delhi, they used to go from uh, Lucknow, they used to go from Lahore, they used to go from Multan. It's in the history book. And it was so famous, you know, Sharafuddin Yahya al Maneri, Maneri Sharif. Mm -hmm. He was married to the daughter of Abu Taw Amma in Bangladesh. And he was the Khalifa and the student of that Abu Taw Amma in Bangladesh. He was graduated from Sunargao. There is a a university called Sobish Hajari, 24,000 acre land was uh, waqaf for one madrasa. That's why that elaka was called Sobish Hajari. Mm -hmm. 24,000 acre. Yeah, land for the, see, the king, the sultan, the ministers, they used to be the patron and the surplus of madrasas. Mm -hmm. And they even, they, they were learned people. The Sultan used to able to write fiqh in Arabic and in Persian. Mm. They were learned people. So, Wari Sumulke Sulaiman, what does it mean? That, you know, Humayun, when he entered Bengal, he said, Jannat agar zami par hai kahi, to yehi hai, yehi hai, yehi hai. And he named it Jannat Abad. The greenery, the, uh, the uh, you know, uh, Ibn Battuta, Ar Rehla Ali Ibn Battuta, he talks about Bangladesh so rich and things are so cheap, people are so wealthy, people are so civilized. Mm -hmm. Because this is the miracle of the Quran. Mashallah. This is the shifa of the Quran. MashaAllah. Let's move to the callers now. Uh, let's take a call, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa Allah. Um, brother, um, I just wanted a clarification on something that the, um, the brother said just before the break. Uh -huh. Um, basically, you, um, the brother said um, something along the line that how um, if the Muslim, if we want the Sharia, then we should have, we should go to, we should migrate to a, a Muslim country um, and ask for Islam there. And if we're living in this country, then we should support the government and we should support some of the Muslim um, MPs that are in the government at the moment. Um, now, I'm a bit confused that... Wasn't it that this government that doesn't want the uh, Sharia to be implemented in the Muslim countries? And wasn't it that these um, these MPs, these Muslims MPs that we have in the parliament, they're the ones who are supporting the government on stopping the Sharia coming back in Iraq at the moment, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan. So. When we, when the when the brother was saying that we should support this government and we should support this these MPs, Muslim MPs, but they're the very ones that don't want Islam to be implemented in the Muslim countries. 
Mm-hmm. And that's, how very, how that's very good question, mashallah. And uh, I will put this question to Mufti Sahib. Uh, yes, Mufti Sahib, you yes, heard the question. I think the sister, uh, or maybe it was uh, my fault that I did not able to convey the message what I meant. I meant, like I was saying, that uh, Molana uh, Imam Sahib should become a minister. Molana Sahib should become a MP. I said religious people and people who understand the deen people who love the deen, they should become MPs, they should become ministers, and they should, uh, they should in a democratical system, they should uh, uh, struggle to uh, uplift the, what they believe in, because in, dem- in, in democracy means freedom of uh, religion, freedom of thought, and freedom of uh, your practice, freedom of dress. Mm-hmm. So if you are in a parliament, you have the right to uh, talk against your MPs, even your um, Mr. Tony Blair, his MPs opposed him. When you become an MP and you love Iraq or you love any country, you can talk that in the parliament. You have that freedom. I did not mean that you should, uh, for, I would not like to mention the name of the people, that Fulana, if somebody is, even if he is my brother and he is not, uh, uh, I don't believe in his ideology. I don't have to support him. Just because he's a Muslim MP, I am not advocating that you support them. What I said, those people who love Islam, they should become MP, they should become uh, uh, mayors, they should become uh, uh, what you call it, uh, councillors, they should become ministers. Because you have, if Obama can make it to the White House, which is history, so why can't a Muslim become a minister? Shahid Malik has become a minister. so. If somebody loves the deen, become an MP and a minister. But you cannot say, in the name of Allah, I want to establish Sharia here. You can't do that. You see, um, basically, you need to understand where Mufti Sahib is coming from. Uh, he's not saying that support the government in whatever no, no. they're doing. No, he's talking about law. Even the government uh, can't, rule, can't bring their own laws. Uh, they, they, there is a, they have law basically. So I, I said in, in a, a town hall bayan that I was I said what Tony Blair has done he has uh, he has not gone against his uh, the democratical system because he was not listening to his MPs he was not listening to uh, what you call it the uh, one million march democracy means you listen to your public hmm. so even even the, his own parliament ministers worked on him. Just because you are part of the Tony Blair's cabinet, you can work on him. You can dis- disagree with him. Yes. So the th- I am passing the message that brothers and sisters who are very religious and pious, you should take part in mainstream politics and you should uh, uphold your rights. Otherwise, you will be, uh, you know, you don't exist. Mm-hmm. And I mean, uh, how can we agree uh, to everything which comes from, uh, let's say, down? Democracy Street doesn't or, say or, that. Or like that, because no. uh, let's say, let's say the war on Gaza, mm. right? Many MPs they went against it, mm. but it's still uh, they're, they're part some, of the government. But they are part of the government. They went against it, and we can't support the war. Uh, you know, uh, their co- uh, or basically America supporting uh, uh, attack on Gaza. We can't support that. You know, like uh, in the Tony Blair time. So uh, let's Robin take Cook one more call because and, uh, uh, we have uh, many callers and two Claire, They worked on him. They worked out mm-hmm. of the cabinet. Yes, uh, we have a caller from Wells. Uh, Salam alaikum. Hello, Salam alaikum. Sorry, can you lower the volume of your TV, please? Uh, sorry, we have to move to next caller. Uh, hello, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Who's on the line? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Yeah, I'm just holding on. So, have you, have you got the message, sister? Did you get the message, what we're trying to say? Hello? Hello. Let's move to the next caller now. Hello, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum Yes, brother. Where are you calling from? Yes. Yes. Uh, got a quick question um, to the... Uh, I've just uh, quickly tuned in and I've uh, just noticed that uh, you mentioned something about uh, under uh, um, the uh, Islamic laws, the, the uh, 
region of Bangladesh was uh, united. Mm-hmm. Um, if it was united, why were the British able to sneak in? That's a very good question, <laughs> very good question. Uh, Mufti Sahib, you have one minute to answer because we're going towards the uh, break, basically. That will need a long discussion, and uh, the, the simple answer is that uh, you, these things happen in history, you know, like we had such a great empire in, in the, uh, what you call it, uh, in so many Muslim countries, like in Portugal, in, Spain, like in Bukhara, in Spain, yes. and uh, in Baghdad. And, uh, um, I would say that maybe uh, the ulama were, should have taken more, uh, what you call it, uh, effort in the political system. Hmm. They, they, they came away from the political system. They, were, they thought they are not part of the political system. And once the ulama does that, this is, this is the greatest destruction. So the, the ulama has to become in the decision making. Otherwise, and this is what's happening. Yes. Uh, and I think uh, w- about a couple of hundred years ago, yeah. when the ulama, they decided that, OK, and this is Islamic education and this is non-Islamic education. This is deen and this is not deen. That's when problem is started. We're going towards break, inshallah. See you soon after short messages.